Welcome to Teddy's Mother Playhouse. This is pretty dope. We had a party, have fun, and make some money. Hey! I missed my calling! Teddy's Playhouse is lit! And as long as Caesar does not notice this big ass hole in the ceiling, we're good. I just want to let y'all know that Teddy's Playhouse is officially open. Hey! Yo! What? This is my animal house. I'm gonna celebrate like I'm a mother Roman. Who the do you think you are with these yeah, 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 yeah. yo? Sure. You got you know, shit the lids. You, know, you like them, right? They cool. Nah, you like them. I'm proud of Seeds, because the first time we came here, not gonna lie, it was a piece of What you think? Are you crazy? I know we got cleared out. This shop turned out dope, and I'm happy for C's, but this is too bougie for me. Take me back down the block to 113th. I need to smell a little bit of piss and see some crackheads. I want to thank all y'all for coming to this 125th shop. Y'all don't understand the struggle that all of us been through. Right. We came from the bottom, B. Right. We ain't asked for nobody else's support but our own. That's why. I'm not closing 113th down. Oh. Uh. If I want to build an empire, I can't be closing down shops. It. I got five black inks, 10 black inks. I got 100 black inks. The sky's the limit. And the person I trust most is going to run that. And that's Ted. No way. Ted is his own boss. I'm not going to sit here and step on his toes. I'm not going to interfere in nothing. Duchess must have tied Caesar's toga too tight. Everybody knows that Ted hasn't done in the shop, how is he Caesar's choice to run 113th Street? If I had a BB gun, I would pop both of these right now. I love you, bro. And I'll never leave you behind. Caesar oh. gave Ted 113th. I don't know if Ted done brainwashed him, if he beat him, but the first week gonna fall right on his face. This rug represents royalty. That's what you been feeling right here? Yes. Welcome to the first day under Teddy's reign of Black Ink 113. He got us a new bag. <sighs> Come on, let's walk down a red carpet. Bam, bam, bam. Bring it back down, I got a different angle. Bring it to the side, I got another angle. Nice. It's just like, boom, like, thank you, Dr. Miami. Hey! Yo. Hey! What is this? This is, this is, this is you? What's up? What are we doing? What are you, what are you knocking on the ceilings for, Ted? What are you doing? What the f are you doing, Ted? This is a secret society I got going on with new owner. Now y'all got to tap ceilings and stuff. Is that another tattoo orders? Because we need one. <laughs> <laughs> no artists in the shop. Melody's cut back her hours, still in rehab, hopefully. And then we have Duchess between Pretty and Ink in North Carolina and 125th. I'm not gonna be out here to pay the rent for Black Ink. Oh, That's a triple ball? Yep. Fire. Yeah! Black Ink doesn't need a triple ball, but... That doesn't mean that we can't use a stripper pole. You ever been to a strip club with that, like a double pole? What the? Because um, this one is clearly not gonna fit in here. Did you even consider that when you ordered it? No, I just had a vision. What? <laughs> Steve's can have his high-class clients and chandeliers uptown, but I'm definitely going to give 13 a sexier look. I was thinking, turn this to an old girl tattoo shop. I like that if my I did. So you didn't look I too. always wanted to be a madam. This is an amazing idea. We're going to get in sync. All our periods are going to be on the same days. We're going to be in love. We're probably going to fight, but it's going to be a fight out of love. Teddy, you're giving me hope. From now on, this is Teddy's Playhouse. Teddy's Playhouse for real? Yeah. Teddy's Playhouse. 
Teddy's Playhouse. Welcome to Teddy's Mother Playhouse. This is pretty dope. We had a party, have fun, and make some money. Hey! I missed my calling! Teddy's Playhouse is lit! And as long as Caesar does not notice this big ass hole in the ceiling, we're good. I just want to let y'all know that Teddy's Playhouse is officially open. Hey! Yo! What? <laughs> Watch your feet on that carpet, though. Teddy Playhouse! Teddy is calling all of us outside for a surprise. This like some super sweet 16. I think this had a car outside for me. Teddy's Playhouse! Ah! Really, my? What the is this, Sam? Three, two, one! opportunity employer, but I mean, I'm happy that Teddy's putting it into action. <laughs> this is Young Bay. Where you got clothes oh, on? Dad. Take them off now. No, she's not a stripper. Not a stripper? What the f is she jumping out of a giant cake for? <laughs> you see giant cake, stripper. They go hand in hand. That's peanut butter and jelly right there, Ted. This is our new tattoo artist. Tattoo artist? Yes. Hi, young Wow, Teddy actually did his job and hired a tattoo artist. Who would have thunk it? Oh! You gotta get this is expensive. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> get yourself together. <laughs> I am the best tattoo artist in New York City. I could do anything. Cover-ups, portrait, geometric, you name it. I slay it. I'm about to show Harlem who the best is. Young Bay, baby. Nice to meet you. Where you from? Korea. Korea? Nice, nice. Do you have a certain, like, you lane nervous? that you specialize in? <laughs> no, like, a certain lane that you specialize in. Like, what do you... Young Bae, she got a little spice to her. But are you going to make us some money? That's all I care about. Are you a team player? Uh, I'm a leader. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, so we're going to have issues. <laughs> This little bitch, Young Bay, has a mouth on her ass that I've never seen. I don't know if I like her or if I want to fight or if I want to her. Let's go inside and party. Young Bay, she tough, and she's a super dope tattoo artist. I found her on Instagram. She does a lot of big-ass expensive tattoos. With her hair, we could just sit back and watch the money roll in. And she looks good as Since Mel's about to have her baby, you need to hire Donna. Let her in. Let her in, bro. Let her in. Let her in. Let her in. Let her in. Y'all finish your Donna war cry. <laughs> she needs a job. Donna's not a tattoo artist. I've been looking for new tattoo artists instead of like an apprentice. Like we need somebody that's gonna bring some money and somebody that's solidified. Remember the little curly head joint that came in here to try to get a job? And Duchess kind of curved the whole Yeah, 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 I think I know what you're talking about. We already know how Duchess gets when, you know what I mean, some pretty vaginas around her. She don't like that at all. Hi. Hi, I'm Tiffany. You a tattoo artist? Yes. Where you tattoo out of? New Jersey. I have an issue with it. That's just me, personally. Your work is very impressive and all that, but I can't say yes right now. So I just hired her, and she's starting today. Say you bugging the out. Hiring somebody that Dutch has already said no to. How you think it's going to be when Duchess comes and sees someone that she doesn't particularly care for? I'm not really worried about when Duchess walk in. Uh -huh, I don't like it. You got her Instagram? Yeah, I'm actually on it right now. See what y'all think. I love the shading. Not bad for the shop. Here she comes as we speak. Don't open the door. <laughs> you open it. Hey! What's up? Hi. We just sitting here talking oh, about you. What's up? Oh. I really don't care that Duchess has an issue with Tiffany. She's not in charge of the shop. I'm running now. Tiffany Perez fits in perfect with my vision for Black Ink 113. Number one, she's a dope-ass tattoo artist. Number two, she looks good as And number three, she's a Spanish woman. Everybody know Ted loves Spanish girls. Welcome, welcome back to Black Ink. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> and I'm filling the shop. You got the strip pole. Oh. <laughs> Want me to show you a room where you um, need to set up? Come here, follow me. <laughs> 
First of all, she's a slut. I can see it in her eyes. No! Yeah, I swear. It's between us. Sure? Keep it in the front. Don't take it to the back. <laughs> My name is Tiffany. I'm 100% Puerto Rican. Before I became a tattoo artist, I was just a little girl going to college, and then I got introduced to tattoos. Do it bit every time that you see me. I've been tattooing for eight years. When it comes to black and gray realism, I gotta say I'm the best. And I'm gonna make sure of that. I'm the best one in this shop. Everything set up back there? Yeah, I'm all good. The energy felt a little different oh, when walking. Oh, it feels way better. The way the shop was before was a little on the negative side. From what happened last time you was here, what happened? So, all right, in, so walked in. I, oh, I walked God. in, and this raggedy chick over here, Duchess. Raggedy I'm sorry, but she, at the moment I came in, the vibe was real negative. That's all I got to say. She had this stink face going on. And I, I instantly knew she wasn't feeling me. Almost felt a little bit like jealousy. Is she going to be here? That's the question. She might so come through here. Fun. She might come through here. She's welcome here. Well, she ain't welcome in my book. <laughs> now, hold on, bitch. Why do you think you're that comfortable to sit there and talk about this bitch duchess to any of us? You not going to do that on your first day, ho? Teddy is hiring all these people that don't make any sense if I ever seen it. Tonight, we're celebrating the opening of Teddy's Boom Boom Room. We're about to turn up. Hey, hey, can I get y'all attention, please? I want to thank everybody for coming out to Black Ink 113. It's officially an all-girls tattoo shop. So we have all women tattooing here, so any women, feel free. Y'all can come here, y'all can take all your clothes off. I brought Nikki to 113th tonight because I want to show her that this is going to be a good place for me to work. I had no idea that it was going to be a full blown party. Me to go to the party at 113th. Hi, I am Miss Kitsovane. How are you? As Black Ink's brand ambassador, I'm here to check things out tonight, make sure everything is up to our standards. Kitty? Hey, Kitty, how you doing? Hi, I'm sorry. How you doing? I'm, I'm, Ki I'm Kitsovane. Yeah, I came here on behalf of C. Coming to check this, check this out. I'm here on behalf of Caesar. Who the you think you are, bitch? You the messenger now? Hello, I'm Kit. I'm from 125th. The 125th. What the f does that mean? That means we are that. Oh, we are that. Why would you think that? No, I, I heard some stories about, you know, 113. You heard. Yo, Raggedy. What the f did you just say? Who gives you the balls to come in here and say that? You mean we being ragged? Oh, we didn't come up in two fifth like, oh, I heard you was. We the original. Why we gotta be all that? Like, you know what they said? Messages get shot, bitch. I'm surprised. Yeah. Surprised at what? Heard it was the raggedy. And you feel some type of way? You said, do I feel some type of way? Because you coming up in here talking about people are raggedy as hell. This is your first time meeting us. You sure you wanna run your mouth like that? That's mad disrespectful. No, you no, don't no, say no. that to people. I'm the bitch that's gonna f you up. I'm representing Caesar. I'm this is how you represent Caesar. I'm representing the shop at one time. It just pisses me the f off. How are you gonna walk into a place and judge people? You gotta know when to shut your mouth up. You don't gotta come y'all saying I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm That's dang. just what we're saying. Yeah. You know, but that's exactly your word, though. So. I mean, everybody's kind of surrounding me right now, so I because feel a little bit like. y'all shaped like a pack of Newports. That's not my fault. You need to blame genetics and your ugly ass parents. Here. Don't come in my face can... like that. I... What's up, boo? Yeah, What's up, boo? What's up? Don't disrespect the black ink. Stay where the you are, bitch. Get that bitch out. Get that ugly bitch out. 
is gonna hear about this. Every time I see that bitch, it's gonna be a problem. You know what the is happening? And this is why I drink water. Y'all gotta stop this. Like, this is whack. What we need to do is get some black and crew tampons in this mother because it's about to get real messy with these bitches. Hey, hey, everybody, the out. Are you hungover, dude? Uh, I think somebody put some in my drink. Nobody put none in your drink. Somebody had to put some in somebody's drinks yesterday, because what the f was going on in this, <sighs> man? I don't know. Well, guess what? The kid drama wasn't the only drama that we had. Oh, my God. Tiffany was talking about me, I heard. She was calling me names on my back. Like, I don't know. Calling you names on your back. Calling me names on my back. Oh my back. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch tried to, like, call me a whole bitch. Like, she was just talking for no reason. She was just looking for trouble. That makes sense to you? That was whack. This little mop headed bitch, she ain't been nothing but trouble since she been here. This whole been fighting mad people. So, like, at the end of the day, Teddy shouldn't hire Donna because you know what you're getting with her. She's not a bad girl. Like, and my bitch got good. Hey, welcome oh, to Black Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello, Hi. Tiffany. My name is Ho. Oh, Ho. What? Like to call me. Oh, what did I call this you? This is Ho. I never called you a Ho. You sure? Why would yeah. I even call you a hoe? I don't even know. Was that drunk? I must have been, because I don't remember that. So they give you a right to call me a hoe or a bitch? What is Bay even talking about? I never called her a hoe. It doesn't even make sense. I barely know her. Tiff, come here. Come sit over here. Sit over here. No, I just wanted to talk to her real quick, because that ain't cool. I swear I do not remember calling you a hoe. I have no right to call you a hoe. Hey. I'm glad you're pussy right now. Oh, you starting with me? They bugging the f out. This whole whole comment is really touching this part right here. She she really feeling it right here. No, 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 no. 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 Don't talk to me like no, that. No. Don't I talk am talking to you like that because you call me a no. hoe. I did not call you a hoe. I don't have no problem with you. If you cannot say it to my face, don't say it. All my anger that I've been holding for 22 years is very, very built up inside of me. And I don't snap often. Don't talk to you outside. But do you know what I hate more than people talk behind my back? Liars! What? You beat me? No, let me tell you something. Uh-oh. If I'm you say something, oh, oh. oh. What the f I can't believe these bitches are fighting over who called who a hoe. I am too pretty to be a bouncer, so they better cut this out. Like, seriously. What happened? Who else first? Who else first? Teddy is just watching. Like, do something right now. These hoes is really, really fighting. When are you going to step up and be the manager that your cousin believes that you could be? Yeah. They was coming out to talk to her and that the So who hit who first? You didn't see? I did not call you a hoe. I don't know who these people are, babe. Oh, my God, yo. How did Caesar entrust this Teddy into running the shop, and I can't even get a promotion? Like, if you got an all-female tattoo shop, you have to be able to handle women. Babe, I'm like the door. Get out of here. Babe, I like the door. Bay is going crazy right now. Like, something's really gotta be going on with her. Something that don't know. Let me see your face. I'm you fine. Good. You good. All right, let me get you some water. Right now, calm down. I am, I am, I am, I am. This is a bull. She just broke up the inside of the shop. What do you mean she broke up the inside? Like, real life, kick the glass out the damn tattoo room. Yo, this is a joke, what the is this bull? Listen, you don't with me. You don't know what I've been through in life. You just don't with me. Whoa! <laughs> she in the backyard right now. She's tight. Yo, Teddy, where are you going? Man, all this bull. You're seriously leaving right now? That's what happened when you want an all female shop. What the f is this bull for real? What the f? hundred dollars? Oh, what the f Ted? Like, seriously, you didn't pay the electricity bill, bro? Like, come on, man. What's up? What up? What's going on? The f lights ain't on in the shop. What? Oh, my God. So we can't work today? 
I have two appointments coming. No lights, no clients, no money. What type of shop is this? <gasps> we owe $3,930. Who gets their lights shut off? Only Black Ink. For their work. I Welcome. What's going on? Welcome to Black Ink. Come sit down Inc. so I can like... <laughs> yes. It's Black, Black for real. Is this how y'all feeling it? Yeah. We're meditating. Yeah? Yeah. I'm down for meditation. You see, Nikki, I told you 113th is a perfect place for me to work. That and, um, my electricity is cut off. No. They got the power! Yeah, welcome back. No. Whoa! Bro, this is more than the rent! This is not the first impression I wanted to give Nikki on my first day back. And this is obviously not the time to tell everybody that we just got engaged. What's up? Bring you down here, Miss Lady. What the f is this Miss Fancy Pants doing here? Did she come here to say we're raggedy again? We're supposed to be having a meeting. Who's we? Caesar. Caesar's supposed to be coming down here. Oh, he's on his way? Yes. Oh, Caesar's on his way now, and this mother is gonna go crazy when he find out that the lights are off. This is the last thing I needed. Bye, Sky. Hey, Sky. Hi, y'all. Why y'all sitting outside? What's going on? Go on there and watch what happens. Hi, love, Sky. Hi, y'all. Hi. What the f is going on? Why is it dark in here like this? The lights are off. How you doing, kitty cat? Oh, what the f is the 125th Street Police doing here today? And why are the f lights off? Hey, guys. Hey, girl. Oh, my God. What the f is going on. Yo, so I come in the door, right? Yes. This big ass is splattered like this on the gate. $3,900 for a light bill? For all that, we gonna have to send water in someone grandmother's house to steal all her china. What the f can we do? Yo, Caesar don't even know yet, but he said he's on his way. Caesar's coming. Where is Teddy at? Once again, I'm going to have to man up and take this into my own hand. All right, so tell them that the fuse is blown. What? The fuse is blown. We have somebody coming in to take care of it. Unless one of you guys rat us out. Oh my gosh, these bitches are in there. <laughs> Abort mission! <laughs> What the f is everybody doing outside? These motherfuckers just chilling, and nobody's inside working right now. Uh. Caesar! Hey, Caesar! Why your face is like that? Why your look depressed? This is for you. What is this? What? How the f you run the light bill up to $3,900? What the f was y'all doing in here? Where's Ted? Last time I saw Teddy, Tip and Bay got into a fight and started breaking and Teddy just walked out. What the f is wrong with y'all, yo? This is a crock of bull if you ask me. Not only Ted can't be found, but you got the girls in here fighting like it's WWE. Running a tattoo shop. We got a mother fight club. What's going on down here? Y'all fighting, breaking like, there's no way I should be having a shot meeting in the dark, yo. Hey, have a seat. If y'all fighting in my shop and breaking, I should have heard about it when it happened. So, which of you ladies want to go first? All right, basically, I come in and Young Bay says that I called her a hoe, and out of nowhere, she comes outside and starts pulling my hair. Are you a hoe? No. Exactly. So this wasn't that big of a deal. You a status tattoo. The f y'all sitting outside of on Lennox Avenue fighting for? And they kid come uptown and tell me she gets jumped in 113. And that's my fault. OK. But I just got really defensive at the moment. Nothing warranted anybody putting their hands on me. You leave that for the crackheads, yo. Y'all supposed to be sitting representing Black Ink. From somebody from the outside. I mean, just, I know it's a it's a place that usually people party at and stuff, but like alcohol was a huge portion of why when left. It might be a good step to have it be no alcohol. 
This isn't a rehab. Thank you for your input. Nikki, shut up. You don't even work here right now. Now, this sugar pole, that goes down, yo, in 24 hours. Now, look, there's no way our bill should be this high. Y'all ain't making no money like that down here. You know how embarrassing this is? Look, that's so what I was fuck. telling Teddy, too. Right. Before you hook up your boom boom room, we should have hooked up our tattoo room. The what? We had to paint that first before we. Paint what? Did you see the room in the back yet? The room in the back. He spent like all oh, the money we made now. over there. What? Yeah. Sorry. Yo, what the f is this? Y'all motherfuckers ain't making not one more now, but you wanna make a boom boom room. There's rules and codes to this. What is he trying to do? Get us shut the now? What happened to my office? Who the f told that that he can make that office a boom boom room? And what the f is a swing doing in a tattoo shop? C's being shocked about Teddy f***ing up. I ain't surprised because I know that this dumb is Can you FaceTime Teddy so he could be a part of this like this? Whack, cause you entrusted him to protect and serve this shop. How the do you let this mother just do anything he wants in your shop and still gets paid? Like I, I want to be that. <laughs> I want to be Teddy. Sky, you're absolutely right. So it's gonna be change of management. Teddy ain't in charge no more. He ain't used to running a shop, especially not no all-girl shop. Me, I'm too masculine for that. Be screaming at you, doing all type of So at the end of the day. All right, hold on, let me get my together. Let me breathe real quick. I'ma have Duchess get this shop back into shape. Excuse me? Just said, mother Duchess Christina Lattimore, the bitch from the soap propers, is now the manager. I've really been in here sweating my heart, earned blood, sweat, and tears with these bitches. I don't even know. I am hating. I might flatten both Caesar and Duchess tires, but that's it. All out of love. They got AAA. She already has a female shop. She gonna get y'all in tip top shape. This is bull. I'm pretty sure Duchess doesn't like me because she tried to stop me from working at Black Ink before. So how is that going to work with her running the shop? This is First course of action. Tiffany, you're fired. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Want to walk my shoes, want to be me. I'm going to place them over one if there was a number. I hit them till they done for the whole summer. I beat them like a drum if they really want to. What up with you? Let me toast you. All the things that's been going down on 113 is unacceptable. I finally get a hold of Ted and told him, bring his ass over here now. What the happened to you yesterday? No, what happened to you, period? I go down there, I lights are off. My receptionist come up town and tell me and Duchess she gets jumped in 113. And you got all our mother employees playing WWE in our shop? Are you kidding me? What the f is going on? I told his mother f to, to get over my mother house right mother f now, because I got to know what the f is going on. Well, see, you're overreacting right now, bro. Who else fault the lands on? You walk out while these bitches tore up our shop. Them bitches was going crazy, bro. That was my only option at that time. My intentions was to hire a bunch of dope-ass female tattoo artists to make money at the shop, and now done blown up in my face. Stop questioning Ted and stop worrying about what Ted is doing. If you was there for that meeting, you would be questioning you as a leader too. And the point that you wasn't there, that even made it worse. Ted left. All his mother employees think Ted got up and quit on them. How does the boss quit? Bosses are the captain of the ship. You go down with the mother ship. You are my family. You are supposed to make sure I'm good before any 
body. Why is it that it feels like you're the last person to even give a You guarantee me that If I go to 2-5, I ain't got to worry about 13th. Now 13th is my biggest worry. I thought I could fix it. It's spiraling out of my control right now. Yo, you know how long it took us to build this mother brand? For you to that just like this in this short of time, you asked me for this I warned you, and I warned you, and I warned you. Now what the you want me to do? Sit here and take the responsibility up that you were supposed to? I to figure it out, bro. If I got to do that you fired then, yo. Man, Damn it, this is Dutch's first day at the shop. Ted, why are you gonna go and get yourself fired? You gonna leave us to the wolves now. Hi! How are you? Booby sisters. That's your your uniform? What the f does Scott got on? I got my titties all over the goddamn place looking like mother. Not little mermaid, goddamn grown as hell mermaid. This is not sex. This is this is glitter. We gonna talk about our dress code a little later. With Duchess being the new person in command, it's like, I'm not getting ready to throw a big ass congratulatory party because I felt like I was about to get my own little, you know, title and plaque. But either way, I'm gonna listen to her until I feel like not listening to her anymore. So you guys. How are you? Are y'all ready for hell? I can't wait. It's been crazy. I want to talk about all these bitches in here, the new ones. Especially Tiffany here. She's been talking mad smack about you, Dutch. This raggedy chick, Duchess, she had this stank face going on. Stop trying to start Sky. Stand, stand by what, what you were saying right here in front of so many people, Tiffany Pettis. You call Duchess raggedy. Now you're taking everything I'm saying and trying and to make it seem like, but in the wrong way. Tiffany, she just brought me the wrong way. She's had a thousand fights. Oh, Wait, hold on. Like that bitch got it. She came in with the bull against Duchess that I'm able to talk about, not the new bitch. Duchess, I would personally like to sit one on one with you. But you talked in front of everybody when you said what you said. But you talked in front of everybody what other people have to say. No, it's not other people. I'm Sky. Mind your own business, Sky. Right now, I'm just trying to be cool and see what Duchess is really like. Maybe she's not the raggedy stank bitch of black ink and someone else is. I want to talk to Duchess personally. But I'm right here and I'm talking right now okay. and I'm talking about okay. you and you're not gonna well. do a mother thing. Please, it's better okay. for you to back I'm just up and walk be cool. away. Yeah, Please, and that's what I'm gonna do because it's I respect back up for, for you to do that. I'm not gonna start because you go for about we all gotta be at peace and look at you. I don't give a f you don't. don't play with me though. Look at me in my face. No, I don't need to look at you. It's so much drama because First of, of me. all, don't, because don't, of get, don't get close to me. Because I'm going to beat you up. You Duchess. Know, I'm going to beat you up. Duchess. Duchess. I'll beat you I'm up. I'm not trying to get into no more no, fights. No, I'll beat you up. So the minions are running the asylum. Ted got everybody just doing whatever the f they want to. Welcome to the zoo. I'm going to need both of y'all to stop and sit your ass down. C's definitely owes me for this. I'm going to have to put some tax on this invoice. Let me just get this out. Get it out. Get it out. I know you're going to get this out of here, ain't you? Today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get rid of the stripper pole. This to go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before you, before you, before you, before you, before you take the pole, can I just say a few words, please? OK, here we go. Come here we go. This pole has definitely become, like, part of the family here. We had our doubts at the beginning with it, you know what I mean? We think it was gonna really fit into what we had going on, but it proved us wrong. It held us down, even held two girls up on it at the same time. Really gonna miss it, man. Really gonna miss it. Gonna get this strip all up out here. What's up? What up, hey, man? Rich. How you feeling? What's good, man? Chilling, my man. Yeah. How you feeling? What do you get your sexy oil? What are you showing the taco? Yeah, I, I got hit by Zorro. He just flashed me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good with you, though.
I really want to tell everybody that me and Nikki just got married, but with all the drama that's going on right now, it's not the right time because I feel like the drama is going to overshadow our new marriage. So for now, it's just going to be our little secret. Hopefully, nobody peeps at this bad boy. Hi, guys. Hi, Dutch. Hey, Dutch. Listen up, y'all. This weekend, we doing a 24-hour tattoo-a-thon. Everything that Teddy done up, we're going to turn that around. Starting right now. I am with it. I got a lot cut out for me trying to take over 113th. But if anybody can do it, I guess I can. We're going to have some fly-ass clients, mm -hmm. and we're going to have them mother Rolling in like clockwork. Ted's bull cost the shop a lot of money. But this tattoo-a-thon is going to be what brings 113th back to square one. You know how strippers say make it rain? I want to make it rain on C's, OK? They act make up actors, too. Yo, yo, what happened to the your, your friend money? Rent money. <laughs> and then, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got a light bill, too. Take it. That's what the I got to do. <laughs> This could be dope. I have to admit, I've been gaining respect for Duchess ever since we squashed our beef and was able to talk like adults. So I'm just here to work, I'm here to make money, and I'm here to, you know, just do big things with Black Ink. I'm glad that we could clear everything up. You know what I'm saying? We might actually like each other. We might be friends. Now that I'm cool with Duchess and Bay, there's really only one person that I'm getting shade from, and that's Sky. Teddy's Playhouse has just died. We have Rebirth, Caesar's Palace. You should write that down. I'm about to make that my hashtag, damn it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Welcome to Black Cake. Yeah, that's my bitch. That's my bitch. Hey, that's my bitch. Yes. This is supposed to be a tattoo-a-thon. Nobody's getting tatted. Everybody's mother arguing and fighting and like that. You got mother Artists threatening to leave and everything, and the Duchess, your name is on the line here, Ma, and it's not looking good. I'm just letting you know that. Does anyone care that you're not getting tattooed right now? Who's next? We're getting a tattoo. Duchess is supposed to get a tattoo. Duchess is doing. Yeah, I don't want to mess up in the club. It's no way. Where's Duchess? I don't know why this young lady has been waiting this long for a tattoo, but I will be pissed the f off too. Duchess really needs to be more aware of her clients. Hey, y'all. Yo, Dutch, your 7 o'clock appointment has been waiting. She's mad as My that's not cool. Certain is not cool with this Y'all playing. They stupid. They stupid. And I'm sick of this dumb ass What My customer sitting here waiting for hours. And nobody's told me Sky's only job is to be the receptionist. That is all you are paid to do. You got some disrespectful mother I don't like people with my money, and I don't like people with my reputation. Keep playing with me, y'all. Get out. Get out. Get the out. Lay down. Let me just finish drawing this. As soon as I get through drawing this. Yo, you pick how many bricks you want. watching Duchess little tattoo with Thon crumble. She's slipping on everybody, doesn't know what to do. I'm surprised she's not crying in a corner. Baby, yeah. giving me this shop was way more than I can take. I can't deal with these motherfuckers. What happened? It's nothing but chaos in this shop. Motherfuckers ain't doing their job. I got a client that's pissed off. I can't take this No, you gotta do what you gotta do. Cease, are you kidding me? You just asked me to give you a son, yet you don't even want to take care of your first baby, Blackie. I'm going back to North Carolina to Pretty and Ink. Nah, f this. This is my last damn day. F this. I want to thank y'all all for coming on this camping trip. This was kind of a crazy idea, but I thought it'd be different. And we made a lot of progress, but there's one issue that hasn't been resolved yet. So let's eat first, and then we'll have this little talk. Is this like the Last Supper? Is someone uh, going to die tonight? Nah. Oh, this is classy, see? Yo, Ted, let me holler at you outside for a minute. All right, have some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. 
real camp. What you what you think about Scott? Think about really like giving her some responsibility. I mean, I don't see why not. She's been around long enough. You know her loyalty is to the shop. That's one person in the shop you know for sure. You ain't got a question besides me. On this trip, Sky's really showed me that she's growing into herself and she has matured as a leader. Let's go inside. I think this team building might be one of the dopest ideas I came up with yet. I'm a mother genius. Take notes, mother This is how you win. This is the blood of Jesus. You have to drink this. <laughs> Hi, guys. At first, when Caesar asked me to come to the retreat, I was hesitant because Sky was gonna be there. But she's never started with me when Caesar was around. And he offered me a spot at 125th, so I figured why not give it one last try. Hi. Hi, Caesar. Hey, Tip, what up, yo? Are you? Oh, are you Tiffany? Yes. Caesar, really? I invite Tiff, because I want to bring Tiff back as a tattoo artist on 125th. It's a trap. No, it's a trap, and I'm not going to react to this book. I'm happy you invited what? her. Yes, because you have to show your management skills mm -hmm. and how she managed to get over the little bull. Welcome, Tiffany. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. Now, I don't care who goes first, but start taking care of your problems right now. Put that out so we get rid of this. I'm really going for management status in life. I just want nothing but unity and peace. I want all of us to grow and excel. I wish it would be less physical altercations. I really tried to go that route. I'm not childish in that manner. Tiffany? I know that I'm new and I kind of gave off a bad impression to a lot of people, but I think that whoever I fought with, you know, I don't know what was going on in their lives. And they don't know what was... Who else did you get in a fight with? No, she fought her. I don't know. She had a fight with her, too. <laughs> you fought her, y'all fought, and y'all fought. So you fought three of these bitches. Don't you try and fight me. No, I no. <laughs> I didn't realize I missed so much on maternity leave. She moved her hands too fast around me, she gonna get popped in the mouth. I don't know this hoe, but I don't trust this hoe. I'm not really all about that drama and stuff, but it happened, and the only thing that I can really ask for is just to feel a part of Black Ink. I got a thing, though, like, I done had my share, fair share of fights, but why would you come in and actually fight literally in the shop, though? Um, first of all, for, hold on, hold on, hold on. I defended myself against the bully. Bully? You, bully? you definitely like, been starting with me since the moment I walked in the I, door. I've been, I've been starting with you since the yes, moment you walked in? Yes, you have. You have I... issues, yo. Sky, seriously? You're second from getting a promotion. All you gotta do is shut the f up. Shut the f up. I... She has issues. I know, See, I this do is have exactly issues. why we got into a fight, because I can't sit I'm here and talk to her. Ass. Look, how do you have a mindset like that? Stop now. Stop this What the is wrong with y'all, yo? I don't want to hear nobody's bull yo. I brought y'all together for a reason. Not to sit here and bicker and fight. You supposed to be bigger than that that She makes money for us. Right. If you want to sit here and make money, you got to get past that And at the end of the day, you was not here. They have a problem, not you. You don't know her. You don't have to fight nothing. No one told you to be on nothing. Though. That's so so what? Is it my shop or I yours? I never disrespected your shop, you and I have to be fighting so hard to get back to Donna, <laughs> Donna. I just, like, just want to know what's I don't so understand how she got in a fight with three people, <laughs> and it's still worth it. I'm no, sorry, but we ain't thirsty and struggling for money. I didn't start these fights. Don't... You ended up in three fights. Because people feel jealous in some type of way about me being here. I get it. I'm jealous of you? Yes, you are <laughs> jealous of me. It's clear. Everybody says it. <laughs> I don't need to. Sit down. I'm done with this. Right. What happened right. like a month ago and you no, still like I had on it? Because you've been ducking me. Oh. No, you've I didn't. You've been ducking me, son. I'm ignoring your ignorance. Like, I'm going to beat you up. That's hard to my kids. Yeah. All right. Y'all need to stop that. Okay.
that I would come back to Black Ink if things were different, and they're clearly not. These people are rabid animals. They're f***ed up in the head, and I'm f***ed done. I'm done. Whack-ass pussy ink crew. All this fighting, all this bull and I'm never gonna stop until I get her. This is some bull Like, I'm not gonna sit here and go through all this back and forth with everybody. I told everybody what the trying to do it. ain't trying to get there. That bitch was talking some slip It's shit true, but people say slip to me all the time I have to eat that So at the end of the day, sometimes you gotta eat just to make happen. Ain't gonna be a perfect world. I gotta sit here and try to tame adults. Adults? This ain't my job, I'm a boss. I'm not no babysitter. As of right now, 113th is closed. Is Yo, you, what's good? You ain't got the key? You see what it says? Shop for rent. Get the out of here. What the some bull? Seize, you really gonna close down the shop? This stupid, Seize. You don't build an empire by closing down things. That's not how this works. What the is this? We're all fired is what it is. is fired. Donna's fired. Walter's fired. Looks like everybody's fired. It's like I cannot catch a break. The minute I get rehired back at Black Ink, Caesar wants to close the shop. Like, I don't want to move back in with Sky. Although I do miss her fried Twinkies. Yo, yo, why y'all out here? What's up? You see what numbers did? What? Oh, oh, so he's serious. Yeah, he's serious. He takes everybody away to the retreat, and we see what happened at the retreat, especially you, Sky. If this had anything to do with me, I want to talk to him, because that's whack. I get it. When mother up, you gotta show them. But like, with this bitch Tiffany walking in at the camp and doing all that extra mother talk about your kids. It's Caesar's fault that she was even there. Like, what am I supposed to do? Yo, we gotta talk to Cs. The one thing I know I'm not doing, I'm not going to ask them for this shot back. Y'all this up, not me. Y'all gotta figure something out. Me, I'm good. I got a key to 125th Street. I didn't do this time, so it's their mess to clean up. Caesar's my family, so while I don't know what Caesar's plan is, I definitely know I got a part in it. I don't know if everybody's welcome up there. I'm gonna go this way, though. All you do is walk off, bro. That's, it, it, it's, it's overwhelming. I got the keys to 125th. I don't know what y'all gonna do. What the is that supposed to mean? We supposed to be a team, but you never a part of what we doing. Teddy think he better than everybody else because him and Caesar are family. <laughs> that. Yo, where the are you going? <laughs> him, man. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.